fish lovers and welcome to my channel. I'm happy to announce that I have completed my automatic deep water change system that I'm uh, applying to this tank starting from uh, uh, last night. And right now I want to show you guys how I did it. Where does the excess water close to? And how I uh, get the water to my tank and this so is guys how. this is where I get my water this is uh, over here my main water line with the water meter it goes over here it has a T there and goes back here to power my washing mach machine and here another T that I installed yesterday it goes here enters this cheap uh, filter doesn't really matter because you can see that it's barely open because I do not need a lot of water to enter my tank because water over here is ice cold and I don't want it to to affect my my tank temperature and this this is something for from, from an irrigation uh, kit. Also the hose is an, also an irrigation uh, kit, you can find it on, uh, on the store, I bought it this summer to irrigate my, my garden from uh, my, my garage and it was pretty useful now. So the hose enters here, I can pull it out if I want. And it goes, I'm not going to show you the piping here because it looks bad. Let me show you. It goes to, over to the right. And it comes here, the little black wire, that, that's the one that brings the water. All the way up here. And here, and you can see it right there. It's a, a small flow. It's about, uh, let me find a better angle to view this, so it's about 5 liters every 24 hours, but I want to increase that, but not, not too much, because like I said the water is pretty cold, but because it's so, so uh, small fl uh, flow, the line it's uh, at room temperature, which is nice because if the water flow was bigger, this hose will get really cold. But it's not the case now. Okay, and the water that I bring here in my tank, it mixes with all of my uh, tank water until it reaches the overflow that I installed which is here and the excess water flows through this overflow to this pipe like so this was the uh, tricky part like it was hard to find an adapter to put a, a hose to connect it with this uh, pipe but I finally I eventually found, found something and the water, excess water, flows through this uh, line. Let me use the flash. Okay, now it's much better. Much better. So the excess water comes here, flows through this line. You can see it with water. It goes in the back of my tank and goes all the way in my other corner. Let me show you. So it exits in the upper side corner, you can see that it has water in it, let me move this ice box over and right over here it goes into this uh, hole that I drilled in the wall, this is a uh, drywall, it's pretty easy to cut in it, but after this drywall I have a, uh, a pipe that it uh, goes 
up to the roof and collects the rainwater. So it's basically like, let's say, a meter away, maybe not a meter, maybe a few than a meter distance away from my tank. And all of my overflow water from my tank goes into that uh, pipe and goes down to the sewers. So, yeah, the water line over here. And another water wa uh, line, which is the overflows, goes here. So now I do not have to do any water changes. And maybe I will do some water change changes uh, once a month or something when I have to, to clean my tank. But it's an uh, automated system, which I like. So there you go. It's dripping 24-7 in my tank, fresh water, all the time. So. My tank gets fresh water mixed with uh, the old water all the time, like I said. So this is, guys, this is basically the automatic water change system. That I, 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 I see that a lot of you are asking how is this uh, done. So now you know what comes in must go out to the overflow. And I'm pretty happy with it now. I will in increase the flow maybe to 10 liters per day. That will be an acceptable flow. I don't want it to be too much because it will cool my water down. And now because the flow is so, so little, my water meter does not register the water flowing through it. So basically this is free water, I do not have to, to heat the water anymore, so I do not spend money on gas to heat the water. My tank parameters will be more stable now because when I do a big water change or 30%, 40% water change, the quality and the temperature and the properties of the water change because I add new water straight from the tap. But now such a small amount of water added constantly in the old water will keep my tank, my tank's water more stable. So if you have the possibility to do this guys, I would recommend it for big tanks. You guys do not have to bring on the, uh, the, out the hose late around the house. Yeah. This is it guys, this is my drip uh, water change system, it will change the water automatically. I still have to do some, some cleaning to the tank, maybe from now, uh, nowadays, you know, but I will not do it so often like I did now. Ok guys, thanks for watch watching, subscribe if you like my videos and you are new to my channel, and have a nice day.